We talk about caramelization a lot. You might have heard the term overcrowd. Do not overcrowd your pans. When you overcrowd your pans, you don't get caramelization. And to me, caramelization is the king of the flavor. Um, I can't get enough caramelization whether I'm cooking steak, or whether I'm deep frying something, or even whether I'm roasting something. So I'm gonna show you an example of a go-to for me. Cauliflower this time of year is one of those things that's really near and dear to me, so I'm gonna show you none other than cauliflower. But again, the focus here is on proper spacing and proper caramelization to really develop that deep, rich, caramely flavor that elevates the cauliflower from being good to great. So first off, we're gonna get a little olive oil. It's a little drizzle just to coat. And then my favorite salt pepper, of course. It doesn't have to be a lot more than that, quite honestly. I mean, again, the, the flavors developed in proper roasting of a vegetable are tremendous. All right, so a quick toss just to coat. So to transfer this onto a sheet tray, and again, I'm talking about proper spacing. You notice that the cauliflower is all about the same size for uniform cooking. That's obviously imperative in the process as well. But what I'm doing here is my pan may look a little big, but I'm giving all these guys room to breathe so the steam doesn't come up and then collect on the sides and then kind of condensate down or rain down on, on the tray. Um, and we're gonna get some really nice golden brown to dark brown cauliflower. Again, the flavor is gonna be perfect, super deep, super rich, and, and overall just wonderful. We're gonna transfer this to a 350 degree oven. We're gonna let that cruise for probably about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so our cauliflower is ready to come out of the oven now. If you open it up, oh yeah, there it is. So this, when you properly space something on your tray or we don't overcrowd anything, you can see how beautiful that looks, first of all. Second of all, the flavor behind that is gonna be amazing. Again, you're dealing with deep, rich, dark, caramely tones, as you know by now, if you watch any of the other videos that I really, really love. So what I'm gonna do to finish this off, and again, you, you saw how easy this was. Um, salt, pepper, olive oil, cauliflower, oven. That's it so far. So we have four ingredients. I'm gonna put it in this mixing bowl here. Good. Okay. Add just a dash of olive oil. Just for a little vine. Plus, I, I can never get enough olive oil, quite frankly. I, uh, I'm kind of a sucker for that. I had some pomegranate seeds laying around, so I'm gonna add those. Believe it or not, pomegranate cauliflower or two peas in a pod, a match made in heaven, if you will, and then some fresh herbs, and here I have some chives. So I'm gonna give this a quick toss, and then we'll put it right on our plate. There you go, simply roasted cauliflower. This could be any vegetable, whether it's Brussels sprouts, whether it's baby carrots. The biggest thing is making sure that you get space and on your tray that you're not overcrowding. Again, they have their own room to caramelize. That's when you get that beautiful look and that deep, dark flavor.